Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's Ben from LightsAndGear.com. We have another flashlight to look at today, a little different than usual. This uh, actually um, is one of those flashlights which you see all over the internet. They are a 1AA type variety. They're only a few dollars, they're very popular. And I thought I'd take a look at it since uh, a lot of people seem to be interested in them and give you a good video. Um, it doesn't have a name to it. Um, it's just a Cree LED uh, one mode uh, one double A flashlight. That's all it is. It's just like a. It's called Mini Cree LED, and that's all it is. And uh, the packaging is what you're looking at right here. Came from China in this little bag, and it uh, took quite a while to get here onto the uh, American shore. And the light was wrapped in this packaging here. There's no instruction, there's no accessories, there's no games or prizes or uh, anything nifty inside the package as there are with some of the other lights I show. It just came wrapped in this, uh, in this, you know, kind of paper, this whatever, whatever you call it, uh, faux bubble wrap stuff, and this little bag. And that's it. So anyway, uh, this is the light. It has what they call an aspheric lens, which is a sort of half round dome shaped and it's not really like a lens, it's just like a piece of glass, I suppose, I don't know. But anyway, it's, it's an aspheric lens, and there's the LED down in there. Not sure which LED it is, but it's bound to be several years old, probably an XRE. It probably predates the XPG LEDs, I would imagine. It might be an XPG, but it, uh, there's really no way to tell, unfortunately. Um, I, anyway, uh, so uh, that's the LED, and the light uh, has a very good clip, I will say, and it has a zoom feature. Uh, the zoom feature is by pulling the head up and down here. Okay, we'll get to that in a moment. And here is the tail cap, which is uh, rather a pain to put on. It kind of fights its has a little orange uh, button on the back of it, and it kind of fights its way at every turn. It just doesn't really like to get in there too well. So that's the only real problem with it in that respect. It takes either one AA battery, uh, Duracells, you know, any, any standard alkaline. This is actually an NIMH rechargeable. And it also takes 145 hundreds, the lithium variety. And this is one right here. They look, of course, the same as the AA. And uh, this is rechargeable. So it'll take either either of these and a standard uh, 1.5 volt alkaline and so forth. So anyway, let's uh, put the uh, Duracell in here. And let's see if I can get the tail cap on in one fell swoop. Ah, work this time. Usually it, usually it takes me about four or five times to get it on there. So anyway, let's uh, lose a bit of light in here. And we'll turn it on, and it is only a one-mode light. And many of these come in a three-mode light. A lot of them you'll get in high, low, and strobe, but this one is just a one-mode. All right. Let's uh, wait a minute. Let's do this. Okay. As we uh, play around with the other lights in here, just to uh, make sure we have some light. All right. Anyway, so uh, just click it on, and there's your beam. There's your beam at uh, full spectrum. It's nice and clean. I mean, there's nothing wrong with the beam in that regard. To me, it looks kind of blue. Most of them are pretty white these days, but this kind of looks blue to me. And it is very wide and will illuminate a rather large area at once as far as the circle of it goes, uh, as far as the sphere of it, I suppose. And uh, it, now it does say that it's 300 lumens, but it's not. This is operating on an alkaline battery, so there's no way it could possibly get 300 lumens out of this. You may get 100 or 120 or something, but that would be about it. And of course, it looks bright in these short quarters. Now, if I pull the head forward and go the zoom mode, whoa, there we go. It's now in full zoom, and what you're seeing is the, the LED, the actual LED, the die of the LED, to me, it looks sort of like a little building. It looks kind of like a little castle when you hold it this way. And uh, that's what you get. You get lots of rings on the outside of this square beam, which to me is rather useless. Now, it does go, it does have good throw. I'll give it that. Um, I'll actually be showing you that outside in a couple of minutes, so hang on. But um, as far as indoor goes, you really wouldn't want to use it like this. There's no reason to, because that's all you see, and that's kind of useless. Uh, so there you go, at full mode. Now, just as a comparison, I thought I'd show you the Dolphin C15 from Sunwayman. 
Now this is as a comparison because they're the same size. They both take a AA battery. The only difference here is you have a side switch and you have a proper lens and you have an XML LED. But those are the only differences between this one, between this Cree and the Sun Wayman. But I just thought I'd show you the, um, just thought I'd show you the uh, Dolphin here, the Sun Wayman, as an example. Now this has. Uh, let me see. This takes the same battery. I do have a Duracell in here. Okay. Oops. Sorry. Didn't show you that. I do have a Duracell in here. And this goes to 170 lumens. 170 lumens. And let me turn it on. It is now on high. It does have high, low, and medium. So anyway, let me just cycle through once again to make sure I'm on high. Okay. So we're on high now on the Dolphin. And here's the beam on the Dolphin. Okay. Here's the beam on the Dolphin. And here is the beam on the Cree. Now, just to compare what a what I call a regular flashlight will do as opposed to this um, $4 number. Um, now, many will admit it's only $4 or whatever the price. You know, it's very cheap and that's what you're getting for the price and it's fine. Which is fine. But I'm just saying if uh, you want a half decent flashlight or one that will last you a lot longer and be overall higher quality, I would certainly recommend one of these other ones. Anyway, here you go. This is the beam of the Cree, and this is the beam of the Sun Wayman. And you can see there is quite a difference, and the Sun Wayman is reportedly 170 lumens on this AA battery. Uh, what I will do now, just again for further comparison, I'll put a uh, 14500 into the Dolphin, just to show you the difference there. Um, I do have to confess I'm not exactly certain what the lumens are with the 14500 in there. I have not found any specific information on that so it's a little hard to determine but you will get brighter output with the 14500 than you will with the alkaline. That'll be the same in both the lights but here is a more remarkable difference this time between the Dolphin and the Cree since I still have the alkaline in here now very very quickly without taking too much time I can put a 14500 into the Cree and again if it'll let me do it El Quico instead of taking too long we can just do a quick comparison there with a 14500 okay there we go all right here we have the 14500 in the Cree. It is now brighter than it was before. And there you have the uh, Sun Wayman right there. So, you know, it's really hard to judge, but you do have a, a little bit of a better beam, a little bit of a more uniform beam on the Sun Wayman than you do on the Cree. So, there you have it. Both lights side by side. The Sun Wayman, by the way, has been on high the whole time and this only has the one mode which is high. Uh, let's uh, go outside now and see what we do with both these lights outside in a more realistic kind of comparison. I think that'll help. And uh, by the way, if you want to see any or all of these lights, you can visit me below at lightsandgear.com. I'll just say that before I forget. Lightsandgear.com is the website to check out all these lights, make purchases and so forth, and read up on flashlights, batteries, charges, and the whole lot. Anyway, let's go outside and see what, uh, see what we can do out there. Hi everyone, I am outside as promised a few moments ago and I had the two lights with me we were talking about and demonstrating inside the Sun Wayman C15 uh, right here if you can see that a little bit and I also have the Mini Cree LED. Now I have 14500 batteries in both these lights and we're just going to test them here with a little bit of outdoor range in the dark. I have a target here, a building of about uh, it's probably roughly around 50 feet from where I am. So let's start with the Mini Cree. I'll push the button on that and uh, just have to pull it back into full zoom and there you go. That's the Mini Cree. This has a 14500 lithium battery in it and there you can see it shining down there. There's the light you see shining on the building down here. Now if I pull it back on the full zoom there you get the square beam, the LED beam on the building. And again, this is around 50 feet. Now this does go a reasonable distance in the dark, but the beam tends to be 
you know, kind of small when it when it gets out. So for me, it's hard to really uh, it's hard to really note things as well as it would if the beam were a little larger. You have to keep moving it around, you see, in order to actually see what you're looking at. I mean, you will see it, but it just requires a little bit more uh, maneuvering. There is a tree beyond down here, which I can actually see the beam on, but I don't think the camera can. It's uh, not terribly bright, but it does shine on, on the tree way off in the distance down here. Uh, again, it's not bright, but you can see the light on it. So anyway, there's your beam with the uh, mini Cree, and as you look around, this is uh, the way it looks. All right, now let's compare the dolphin in the same manner. I'll pull back the zoom here. There again is your Cree Mini on the building down here. And again, you see when you're outside like this, you don't get a whole lot of brightness when it's uh, pulled back. I mean, it's fine for 20, 30, 40 feet. I mean, you can see, but it's not fabulous. All right, let's go to the, um, the Sun Wayman. This is on high. Let me just double check on this. Okay, yeah, there's the Sun Wayman on the same building, and you can see the sizable difference in the brightness and the wideness of the beam at this particular distance. Okay, there's the Sun Wayman, and there's the Cree. Sun Wayman, Cree. Okay, unless you pull, unless you put it all the way forward, then of course you get the zoom here, and it does appear bright, but it is uh, not as widely bright as the XML LED that you'll find in a light like the Sun Wayman. So as we look around a bit with the Sun Wayman, here you can see the ground around, you see. Um, we were doing this before with the other light, but... Uh, without pulling the Cree back into the square zoom, you can't really get out that far with its standard beam. So anyway, there you have the two lights in an outdoor situation such as this. There's the Cree once again, and here's the Sun Wayman. You can go to lightsandgear.com, the link is below, and you can see all kinds of lights like the Dolphin C15. Um, you can see all kinds of lights like this that have XML LEDs and all sorts of others. And, of course, uh, there is also a link at there for the, for the Cree Mini as well. You can make a decision on which kind of light you think would suit your, suit your purposes better. Uh, there's all kinds of information on chargers and batteries and all kinds of different flashlights of every size, shape, and configuration at lightsandgear.com. So you can do that. I do thank you for looking, and uh, we'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.